If you are a fan of Formula 1, you might have heard that there are some rule changes coming to the qualifying session. In this video, we will review the basics of Formula 1 qualifying and understand the changes that are taking place for the 2022 season. Let's get started. Let's begin by quickly reviewing the qualifying rules. Note that the rules described here don't apply for the races that have sprint qualifying. For 2022, three sprint races have been announced till date. Qualifying is a one-hour event held on the Saturday before the race. It is split into three sections, Q1, Q2, and Q3. The first session is referred to as Q1. In this session, all 20 drivers compete over 18 minutes to determine the top 15 who will advance to the next session. After a short 7-minute break, Q2 begins. The remaining 15 drivers have 15 minutes to set their best lap time. The top 10 advance to Q3. Following an 8-minute break, Q3 begins. The top 10 drivers have 12 minutes to set their fastest lap. Pole position is determined in this last session. It will be interesting to watch qualifying in 2022 because the qualifying strategy largely depends on the strength of the team. Due to the new cars and regulations, no team really knows where they stand. For the last eight seasons, there was a clearly defined team strength. Commentators often refer to teams as front runners, the midfield or back runners. Typically the front running teams, Red Bull, Mercedes and in some years Ferrari, would cruise through the first two qualifying sessions and the fight for pole would be among these three teams. The back runners like Williams and Haas found it difficult to qualify for the last session regardless of their strategy or tire choice. This year, McLaren, Aston Martin and other teams could be in the mix for pole position. Top teams from previous years can no longer take it easy during the first two qualifying sessions because to be honest, they don't know if they're a top team this year. In prior seasons, there was a rule that drivers that made it to Q3 had to use the tires which they used to set their best lap time in Q2 at the start of the race. Softer tires give better qualifying performance but often are not the best tire choice to start the race. For this reason, top teams often try to use a medium or hard tire to try to set the fastest lap in Q2. This strategy put them at risk of being pushed out of the top 10 by a team that used a softer tire. This made Q2 an interesting session to watch. For the 2022 season, this rule has been removed from the technical regulations. Teams now have free tire choice to start the race. Let's look at the top three implications of this change. One. Focus on pure speed over strategy in Q2. In 2021, we saw that the outcome of the race was sometimes determined by the tire a team started the race on. This made the tire choice in Q2 critical for the front-running teams. This year, since tire choice is not a concern, I believe that we will see faster lap times in Q2 as teams focus on pure speed to get through to Q3. 2. Exciting race start and race strategy. In 2021, since the tire choice for the top 10 drivers was known a day before the race, fans could roughly predict how a race would play out even before the Grand Prix started. For example, if top drivers started on different tires, we knew that the pit stop strategy would play a crucial role in the race. Teams had almost 24 hours to plan their race strategy. This year, the tire choice of a driver will not be known until the race starts. This allows for drastically differing strategies at the beginning of the race. For example, we could see a situation where the driver on pole starts on the hard tire, second on the grid starts on the soft tire, and third on the grid starts on the medium tire. This would have never happened in the previous years. Better racing. Closely tied to number two, I believe that the free tire choice to start the race opens the possibility for better racing. As an example, imagine a scenario where the top three qualifiers choose the hard tire and the driver in fourth position chooses the soft tire. In this scenario, the fourth qualifier has a very good chance to overtake the top three qualifiers in the first few laps of the race. This kind of situation, which rarely or never occurred when the Q2 tire rule was in place, creates a lot of strategic possibilities. This should make racing really fun to watch. Teams now have to guess what their competitors will do and adjust their strategies very dynamically. Now I want to hear from you. Do you think that the qualifying rule changes will benefit the sport? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula 1 content.